Padre, I'm alone. Again. I came here almost a year ago wanting to find someone. I thought I found that person. It turns out I was wrong. So here I sit, a year of my life, down the drain. I blame my parents. They have a perfect marriage. If they hadn't set such an immaculate example, I wouldn't hold every relationship I have up to it. I'm so tired. Oh my God, please help me. Hi. Uh, I've been tasked to get wine for a family function. What won't cost me a lot, but will give me the least amount of complaints. Right this way. This might sound weird, but um, are you okay with small talk? Oh my God, please. Awesome. <laughs> a twist off cap, Lil, really? What are you- Henry! Hey. Oh, hey. This is Lily. Uh, hi, Lily. It's nice to meet you. Henry! <laughs> you are... Henry! What's going on with you? Just an existential crisis where I realize I've never been in love. It's a real kick in the tit. Because <laughs> I've seen it around me my whole life. I know what it looks like. Something always felt off. And I kept waiting for that to change, but it never did. So I ended it. You know, we're all told that love is supposed to feel a certain way. But what even is that feeling? I mean, I think I know what it is. But what if I'm one of those colorblind people who think it's pink, but pink is actually yellow? Is pink really yellow? Okay, baby, take a breath. I mean, maybe I was in love. What the hell do I know? And now I've got all the Thea's presenting every bachelor in the Portland metropolitan area, and they all suck. It's all the little things that make up one big feeling. And I can't live without you kind of love. I want it. I want to give it. I want to get it. And I want it now. I want to kiss you right now. Do it. Merry Christmas, Michael. Surprise! I want you back. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm being cute and serenading you to win you back on Christmas. So, what do you think? Oh, hon. Um... <clears throat> No. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Just to be clear, you know I don't want all that love stuff with you, right? Yeah, totally, totally, cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. fun, but maybe we need to pump the brakes on the hookup game. Jorge almost caught us. Yeah, I know, I know. If Jorge finds out about it, he's gonna think I'm trying to blow up my life. Wait, why is sleeping with me considered blowing up your life? You know what? Don't answer that. So what, are we just gonna take a week-long hiatus, or...? Oh, I was thinking... indefinitely. Oh. I'll get one vodka tonic, and then Elise will love the free as you know. God damn, a girl knows what she wants. I just had it once and I liked it. You know, I've always wanted to be one of those people who has my own drink. But I'm not really there yet. Oh, well, in that case, it's our normal fee of $50 per person. That makes total sense. A 50% markup for being alone. Because the greatest sin one can commit these days is being single. Okay, so what you're telling me is that because I'm without a companion, I'm gonna be taxed. See? He gets it. Hey, a penis? Yeah, that's mine. What does no underwear mean? <laughs> I'm sorry. You just have this picture on deck. Is that like your move, bro? Because it's pretty pathetic and disrespectful. It says this just showed me your underwear. 
Hey. Ow, shit, is that cinnamon that burns? Lil, are you okay? Stop the f up. Don't touch me, f Are you crazy? <laughs> what the f Oh my god. Santi? Eddie, Andre, uh, this is... Lily. Diaz, nice to meet you. Okay, Latina, Dominicana. Mexicana. Cubano. I'm just black, y'all. <laughs> he defended my brother's gay honor on New Year's Eve. I'm sorry, I, I didn't catch your name. Santiago. Santiago. Nice to meet you. Are you here alone? If so, you should join us. I'm gonna ignore your top shelf pettiness for a sec. I'm not the one living my life like it's some fairy tale. I hate to break it to you, princess, but no knight in shining armor is gonna come in and sweep you off your feet and fix all your problems. Only you can do that. You really think you're so original, hmm? The first misanthrope to ever walk the there earth. We go. Well, newsflash, buddy. Other people have done it before you, but with much more originality. Your whole <laughs> shtick is not new or interesting. It's boring and sad. Right. Are those flowers for me? Yes, yes, in fact, they are for you. Lilies for Lily. <laughs> That's nice. <clears throat> you hate lilies, don't you? Kinda. It's the name thing, but it's okay. They're pretty. <laughs> Sorry, happy Valentine's Day. I'm just gonna. <clears throat> it's okay, you can come in. But no funny business. Of course, of course. Not a funny bone in this body. <laughs> Today was a lot, and I was feeling pretty lonely, and you showing up felt, well, I guess it kind of felt like a fix, which I'm realizing is something I do, and it isn't fair to you. Look, I have never felt this way about someone before. Nick, I like you so much, but I'm not in love with you. I think you were right. About the fries. Mm. Thank you. You may have been right about some other things also. Yeah. You might have been too. Jorge. Everything feels so right and easy. I mean, there are no I told you so's. We rarely disagree. We both want the same things. And best of all, he cleans without having to be asked. Do you know how hot that is? I do. I do, in fact, know how hot that is. I just, Lil, I was just wondering, do you think that it's a little fast? You're sweet to be concerned. Just because your parents got divorced doesn't mean every marriage is stupid and they ended up back together. If anything, you should be hopeful. Hopeful? It's one thing to be hopeful, but it's a whole other thing to live in a fantasy world. I think it's crazy to me that people make a promise today based on who they're going to be 20 years from now when they have no idea who that person's going to be. Holy I gave up my apartment and half my because I thought we were on the same page. There you go, Angel. Ooh. Thanks, Funky. Baby, when you're gone, you know Shoot. Give me a second. The ink's finally here. I need to round up the other sperm so we can take a picture. Okay, but make sure you come back. Come back. Wow. Seems like you're aggressively fine with this breakup. I don't even know what breakup you're talking about. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm going through a pretty rough breakup, so. I'm sorry. It's okay. Well, I'm okay. I feel like I learned a lot, which is what matters. Hmm. It's a new color on you. Oh, the neon pink? I thought it was a little iffy too. Oh, no, 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 not the makeup. You, you telling me what's really going on instead of sugarcoating it. You seem centered. My dad had a heart attack. He's fine, I just, I don't know why I'm calling. I guess you're the person I want to talk to. here. Of course.
for some here. But love is messy and complicated and amorphous and it's not enough. You cannot take your eye off the ball. True partnership takes sweat and, and commitment and, and drive. You guys make it look so easy. I don't know if I can live my life as if everything is a miracle. But I can live my life as though you are. Because you are my miracle, Lily Diaz. And I can't live without you. Dang. That was a good apology.